you just start by first of all telling us why, why you think it's so important to celebrate Women's History Month? I think it's important because it gives us an opportunity to reflect on the commitment that's been shown by women. Kind of, you know, you look back a hundred years and and the, almost the fight that they had to have for for a, you know the the level of equality that we have today. I started off in admin. Um, I never dreamed in a million years it would lead me to where I was now. Um, and that's down to a mixture of men and women who've, who've built me up over the years and taught me how to be a leader. And that's enabled me to achieve being an academy manager at a Premier League club. Different people are important in any organisation. Diversity, different views, so you can represent different people, especially at the Community Sports Foundation. The diversity of the people that we're trying to get engaged with can be very vast. So I think it's important that you have different views, different opinions, and you may look at things just very differently. I never felt a sort of barrier as a, as a female. I think one of the things that I've learned over time is I do feel sometimes there's more of a barrier um, if you're a mum. Um, and I think that that's something I've kind of experienced that people, I think a couple of things people will kind of say, you know, like, oh, how can you do what you do? You know, you're a working mum and people don't ever kind of go, oh, well, you know, Stuart's a working dad. No, you know, he'd never get asked, you know, how do you manage to juggle being a dad and doing your job? When I first started in girls football, um, I went over to America and I was inspired because they were miles ahead. They were so far ahead in women's football in America. And I coached over there and I, and I was judged, judged as a coach. And then I came back to Norfolk and I took the role as the girls development job. And one of the parents on the first soccer school looked at there's another person. Oh no, we've got the girl. And at that point I knew that I was gonna to have to be better than any other coach on that soccer school to make sure those kids had an amazing time. All the women that I work with have been an influence to me in one way or another. Um, from when I dropped my kids at school to the full-time mums who, who have six kids and look after them all the time, to um, the people I work with who I lead with me as well, you know, like Zoe. And they teach me lots of different ways of how to be compassionate and empathetic uh, in ways where I wouldn't be before. Jen's great, I mean, you can give her a bit of work and you know that it's going to get done meticulously. Um, she works to such a high professional standard that she lifts those around her up to that standard. We're very lucky here at the football club. We have strong women leaders in our owners, in our senior leadership team, exec teams, and in our departments. And the same with us at the foundation, that we have strong women um, and people that believe in women. Working with Jackie is uh, unbelievable. She is without doubt the most dynamic person I've ever met in my life. And it's because of her that we've got an incredible community facility, The Nest, out in Horsford. There were lots of challenges along the way, but every time she learned new skills uh, and overcame those challenges to give us that phenomenal facility that we've got today. By being me, being kind of understanding my strengths, understanding my weaknesses, knowing where I can help and support or um, make a difference. Um, that's kind of helped on that journey. I think if you, you try to be something that you're not, it, it makes it actually much harder to kind of fit in. Don't try and be someone different. Don't try and be someone you think is better. Always be yourself because that will shine through whenever you want to achieve whatever it is you want to achieve.